Hola, me llamo Jason Fraser. I'm a meteorologist for the NBC affiliate in Cleveland, Ohio. That's one of the TV stations in Los Estados Unidos. We're not only going to talk a little bit about me, but we're also going to be talking about what I do on a regular basis every day. And hopefully this will give you enough information for you to do your assignment later on today. All right, so a little bit about me. Look at that handsome face. Muy guapo. Uh, I uh, was originally from New York City, and I always wanted to be a meteorologist ever since I was your age. And I am also best friends with Mickey Mouse. Him and I, we hang out a lot, if you don't know. And I can show you some pictures if you want. You can hit me up on that. I'll, I'll tell you about more about that later. Uh, I was a TV reporter for about nine years. And then about three and a half years ago, I decided to switch to being a meteorologist the news on TV, Las Noticias. So every day, uh, this is where I work. I work in a really, 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 really big TV studio. And I'm actually in the TV studio. So as you can see right there, uh, that's what we call the weather center. And in the weather center, we can see all sorts of really cool things. So we can see if it's raining, we can see if it's snowing. Yes, we have snow. We can also see if it's really warm. We can see where it's really warm. We can also see if it's getting cold and why it's getting cold. So this is me on TV. As you can see, I'm there in a nice little suit there. And this woman that you see right here in this picture, mm-hmm, yep, woman right there, hi. Yeah, everybody wave. That's Romney, that's my wife. So yes, I anchor the news with my wife. All right, so I told you before that I was what you call a meteorologist. So what does a meteorologist do? I get this question a lot. So a meteorologist, basically we monitor the weather. So what's the weather? Weather is things like el tiempo, the temperature, clouds, air pressure, precipitation. That's a really fancy word for rain and snow and whether or not it's going to do either of those things. I also monitor things like wind direction and wind speed. All of that helps me figure out what's going to happen in your neighborhood. So there's a couple of different weather instruments that I use every single day, all right? They include things like a thermometer, right? Because I have to know whether or not the temperature is gonna go up, is it gonna go down, is it gonna be really warm, or is it gonna be really cold? Then we have this thing called a barometer. I don't know if you guys reviewed this or not, but the barometer measures something called air pressure. And air pressure, I care about that because it basically is gonna tell me whether or not we're gonna get really warm weather or really cold weather, whether or not we're gonna get really, really, really stormy weather or whether or not it's gonna be really clear outside. Also, uh, I look at our rain gauge and our rain gauge basically monitors how much rain we received. Then we have something called an anemometer. I know that's a really, 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 really big word, but all that basically does is it tells us how fast the winds were going. So if the winds are blowing really, 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 really fast, like, I don't know, maybe like 80 or 90 kilometers per hour, well, it's probably more like 120, um, it'll basically tell me that from my anemometer. And then we have this thing called a wind vane, and that tells me about wind direction. So there's a couple of things that as you're doing this assignment, you should be thinking about. One is clouds right? So there's over two dozen different clouds. There are a lot of different clouds, all right? But I'm just going to review today about the three cloud types, all right? There's something that we call cumulus clouds. Then there's something that we call stratus clouds. And then there's something else that we call cirrus clouds. And again, these are all families of clouds, right? So you're going to hear later on that there are like things called like cumulonimbus clouds, all right? But they just belong to the family of cumulus, right? So cumulus clouds, those are those big, fluffy, cotton ball looking clouds, right? Um, they are really tall 
and sometimes they can get some rain. So in your neighborhood, you've probably seen cumulus clouds. Stratus clouds, those are those big, widespread, gray clouds. They also bring rain as well. And then cirrus clouds, well, those are those thin, skinny looking clouds. They normally are very, very, very high up in the sky and they tend to look like a bad hair day. So if you go like this with your hair and you just, it tends to look like cirrus cloud. I'll show you a quick example of this. So these are cumulus clouds. All right, those are actually my favorite clouds. And we have cirrus clouds, as you can see. See, don't they look like messed up hair? I know, that's what I thought. And then we have stratus clouds, all right? They look like big and angry and ooh, all right? So if you see these clouds, that usually means it's going to rain. And then my favorite clouds are the ones that cause thunderstorms. And did you know that there were 2,000 thunderstorms actually happening right now? That's right, 2,000. Ooh, how many of you like thunderstorms? I do too. So in Venezuela is actually the place where there were more thunderstorms than any place in the world. All right, so about your forecast. So in order to come up with a great forecast, you need to tell me a couple of things, right? One, temperature, right? How warm, how cold it's gonna be, uh, frio, or is it gonna be really, 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 really warm, all right? So you gotta tell me that. You also gotta say whether or not, is it gonna rain? or maybe it's gonna rain later on in the day. And then my suggestion for you, also when you're coming up with these forecasts, just be yourself. So if you're really funny, eh, crack a joke. I crack a lot of jokes. I tend to say a lot of jokes. All right, so hopefully uh, you have enjoyed this video. And those are all my social media things as well. Um, and that's also my email address as well. So hopefully you enjoy this assignment and I look forward to seeing some of your forecasts. Adios.